This, my dear viewers, is maybe a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to listen to uncensored media for a few minutes. What I have to say is important, and I had to kill a lot of people, and I will get killed myself to get my message to you. So I made the decision to value your interests higher than my life. I want to make you wake up and change. But before I tell you what I think you should do, I want to give you the facts. And I mean it, the facts. The NSA tapes every single phone call, email, and text on Earth. People like Snowden or Assange, who give us much needed information to protect democracy, get hunted and prosecuted by the US government. The US government is funded by the rich and likes to keep people in the dark, ignorant, and on the brain level of children. They make sure people are busy, making money to survive, to take care of their family, their house, their lawn. They want people thinking they are free and have a choice and to do whatever they want, but they can't. The people that are representing you are bought and paid for to keep you stupid in your small, stupid little world. How can there be no gun control, even though there are monthly massacres? In the USA, 11,000 people are shot every year. In the UK, it's only 300. Why? Because the UK doesn't have guns. People don't have guns, period. What I've done in the past and what I'm doing right now is the result of no gun control. There aren't even background checks to filter out people with criminal records. Why is this? Because 50% of the senators and governors are paid by the gun industry. So wake up. Healthcare is of course beneficial for at least 95% of the people in America. Basically, all of the developed world has healthcare. Almost 50% of Americans are against it. Based on the perfect brainwashing media machine, the Iraq war was a crime. Powell, Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld lied to the United Nations and the rest of the world. Saddam had no weapons of mass destruction and he had nothing to do with Al-Qaeda. But we know our friends, the Saudis, financed the 9-11 attacks. But because of their oil, we don't do anything against them. Instead, we send soldiers to die in countries that have nothing to do with domestic terror attacks. Why didn't Obama file charges against the Bush government? Bush cost the taxpayers hundreds of billions and committed war crimes. Why is Obama not doing anything about that? Because he is also paid and a member of the club. More migrants got deported under Obama than under any other president. Why didn't he close Guantanamo Bay, where prisoners sit without charges, evidence, proof, or a court case for over 13 years now? He did not veto the detainee provisions in the National Defense Authorization Act, which codify the indefinite detention of people, including Americans, without trial. We have a constitutional crisis in the United States. We now have a rogue state. It is a violation of international law, a violation of Magna Carta that goes back 800 years of what our sense of justice means. Obama should be charged for that, and he should go to jail. Speaking of jail, the USA has 5% of the world's population and 25% of its world's prisoners. People go to jail because they have 10 grams of cocaine in their pockets. Half of the prisoners are in jail for drug possession, and more than half of them are black. Why does this absurd situation not get changed? I'll tell you why. Because Washington gets paid to keep it going by the prison industry lobby. Why don't the rich pop stars and film stars and white stockbrokers who use speed and cocaine totally and ecstasy right. every day get thrown in jail? Why? I'm because you are above the a law. Talk show host. If you are rich, you think because the Morgans, the Gettys, the Vanderbilts, the Rockefellers, and other criminal assholes who founded America did something good with their charities, but you overlook that they stole all their money and they never should have been rich in the first place. What I want from you crowd is this, okay? I want you to change the world, and, I, and don't think that this is going to happen peacefully or you can do it alone. We need to kill the rich. You get out there, you use your weapons, and you rip Washington apart. You hunt down the billionaires, the bank bosses, the CEOs, the scumbags, and the liars, the governors, the lobbyists, the senators, because they're all the same, and you, you hang them from the first tree that you can find. We need a, we need a cleanse, people, okay? We need a reboot. We are actually through the group nationwide. We have the best ratings ever. I mean, we are now on the map everywhere. Everybody knows us. 
We need to destroy that system. But I cannot do this work alone. I need you now. I need you now. We need to do this together. Okay. So I thank you in advance for your help. Thank you. That's pretty good, right? Hmm? If I ran for president, I would win, right? Uh, okay, let's, uh, are we good? Yeah. Okay, let's get started. Um, uh, where have you been, Bill? Where, where have you been hiding out for the last year? It doesn't matter, Chip, where I'm from, what I do in the past. I mean, what, what does any of this matter? Okay, um, can, can I ask you a, b a bit about your background, about your, your upbringing? Who are your... you, Chip? Maybe that's, maybe that's a better question. Who are you? I saw you read the Assange statement. You understand what you were reading there? You I read do. it. I do, I do understand his plight. You read it verbatim, didn't you? I'm sure at some point you wanted to, to get to the truth, right? Before you got concerned with your money, being on TV. I'm sure you wanted to be a real journalist. I am a real journalist. But I also believe in law and order, and I believe in the Constitution. It's a control mechanism for the rich. They are the law and order. They made the Constitution to protect the money and the land that they stole. The rich are above the law everywhere. Look at the Russian oligarchs in Germany, the owners of Bayer, Bassett, BMW, and VW. They all use slave labor under Hitler, right? And the, and the owners of those companies are still the same. The royals in England, Right? The rich Africans, they're all murderers of their own people. They annex mines in their own countries. We lick the asses of Arabs who come in with their oil money and buy Gucci, Lexus cars, and all our American companies, but they execute people on a daily basis. They, they give women no rights, they kill gays, but we still don't care because they have the money. Our corporate overlords are gangsters in pinstripe suits. Right? They care nothing for the rule of law. They have put into place the most sophisticated system of internal security in human history. They have shredded our most basic constitutional rights and civil liberties. They have turned the three branches of government into wholly owned subsidiaries of the corporate state. They have seized control of the systems of information to saturate the airwaves with lies. And you're a part of that, Chip. You're just like everybody else. See, the anchors, the news people, they're all in someone's pocket, right? Am I right? I mean, what's the agenda here at your news station? We made $2.8 million in the last two hours on that coverage. I licensed it out to all the fucking networks. I mean, like, that's the best thing ever, you know? And Chip signed a contract. He's, he's my copyright. He will be a big star, you know? Do you, do you feel that that killing Innocent people is, is a solution. Yeah, I do. I mean, Chip, isn't that the solution America is using all across the globe? With their drones? I mean, are the drones throwing bombs or are they throwing candy onto little children, Chip? They kill 50 kids, Chip, to get one terrorist. Are we not plundering the third world and leaving starving and dying people behind us to keep our lifestyle? These are heavy circumstances. They don't allow for any more peaceful talks. We see the crimes. We know lobbies brought Washington. We know the financial collapse already happened, but we're still printing money to delay the end. In 50 years or even earlier, it's all over. We have more and more people on the planet and less and less water, food, gas, and oil. In a hundred years, there will be no fucking earth anymore. Words mean nothing anymore, right? Don't you cut the bullshit, Chip. It's not about politics, right? Whether you're a Democrat, whether you're a Republican, it really doesn't matter. All of these Democrats, Republicans, governors, they're all bought and paid for. 
We could vote. We could vote someone in. It doesn't matter. There's lobbyists that, that control, right? There are always two sides of every story, right? Everyone has an opinion. Isn't that what makes democracy so great? That the fact that we can all voice those opinions. Yeah. yeah. As long as those voices don't change anything. Julian Assange, Hammond, Snowden, they are the prophets of our time. They are the voices that are crying out in the wilderness. And they are the ones that the state intends to martyr. We have no democracy anymore. We can't say what's on our mind. This very interview is enough to land me in jail with no trial. Forever, they'll throw me in Guantanamo. It's not our voice anymore. This is about us as a human race, and how we're gonna survive. Understand that?